Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how you can create customizable profile pages inside of your membership sites on Webflow. Let's do it. All right, so I've been getting a lot of requests lately about how we can create customizable profiles in our membership sites. This way, our users can go into their profile settings and update their name, their bio, other fields like that. All right, so this video is going to pick off exactly where my last video in my membership series ended which I'll have linked down below. Um, so if you feel like you're missing something, you don't really know how something's set up, just go back and watch those videos real fast and you'll be all caught up and ready to go. So anyways, without further ado, let's hop right in. All right, so just a very quick catch up here just to get you up to speed real fast. Remember, we have a home page, we have a login page, a sign up page, we have a folder with a couple gated content pages here. Um, and then we have our user dashboards down here in our new member CMS collection template. So when I come here, I get welcome home the name of the member signed in um, i've added these two fields here which we're going to be using today where we can update our customized bio and our customized favorite movie then we also have from our last video our custom kpis that are updating live on our site here like this all right so that's kind of where we're starting what is our first step going to be here to create these customizable profiles all right so first thing we want to do is we want to come back into member stack 2.0 here and we're going to add a couple custom fields that we can update on our profile page back in webflow now for this video, uh, we wanna be able to customize our name. So if we wanna change our name, we can do that. And I wanna be able to update and edit my bio and my favorite movie, all right? So to do that, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna come here to custom fields and we're gonna add some new custom fields. So first, we're gonna add a bio field and then we're gonna add a favorite movie field. It's called favorite movie. And boom, there we go. So we, we see that we have those two out there like that. So that's perfect. Now the next thing we need to do, step number two is we need to come back into Webflow and we're gonna do a form, all right? So we're gonna use this form to update our profile settings and data back here in MemberStack, okay? So whatever we submit here in our profile page, we'll update our list back here in MemberStack, all right? So this is not pretty. None of these build outs have been pretty in this series. I apologize for that. This is not a design tutorial. Let's just build the bones out and you can make it look however you want. All right, so we have this super ugly form down here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we need to link this to member stack, all right? So we're gonna come and grab our form div block here, all right? Not the form block, but just our form div block, all right? And we're gonna add a custom attribute to it. So we'll come down here to custom attributes and I'm gonna type in data-ms-form and then value of profile. All right, so that basically links this form back to member stack 2.0 and is basically calling this our profile updating form. All right, so now they're talking to each other. Now, you can see in this form, I've updated the fields to correspond with our custom fields that we wanna update back here. So name, bio, and favorite movie. So these can be whatever you want. It can be location, whatever, anything you want. So I've made a name field, a bio field, and a favorite movie field. And to each of these fields, you wanna add a custom attribute as well. By adding the custom attribute here, we're going to link back to these custom fields here, and they're gonna be linked and talking to each other. So I'm gonna come here to my text field. I'm gonna come down and add a custom attribute. And to this one, it's gonna be data-ms-member. And the value is gonna be whatever the name of your custom field is. So to get it easily, we can come back to member stack. And for my name field, I can just click here and hit copy ID and come back and paste it. All right, so it's just name for that one. So data MS member equals name. Same thing for bio. I'm gonna come down, add a custom attribute. Data MS member. Come back and grab our bio um, ID, which will just be bio. Paste that in there. And then lastly, favorite movie, same thing. Add a custom attribute, data, MS member, and value of favorite movie. Just copy your ID and boom. Just like that, we now have a profile updating form inside of Webflow that is talking and mapped to our custom fields back in member stack 2.0. Now, the next step we wanna take is we're almost done. I wanna come up here to name and I wanna add a custom attribute to link this to that name field, all right? There's a couple different ways to do this. In my last video, we linked it to our CMS collection. You can do it that way. This way is a little simpler. So, so we'll just grab this little text box here. 
and we'll just come down to custom attributes and we'll do the same thing data ms member and whatever custom field you want to populate there for me it's name boom we'll go right there bio we're going to do the same thing so we'll do data ms member bio and then for favorite movie we'll do the same thing and i'll show you why we're doing this here in a second but essentially when we update that form down below these will update instantly and you can see our customization our profile customization in action right in front of you so we'll add this one in here as well data ms member favorite dash movie all right so now we're good to go so let's publish this and test everything out make sure everything is working all right so let's go through the entire workflow here we'll sign up create a new member and then go in and customize our profile make sure everything's working all right so we'll go to sign up and we'll make a new member just like this just a fake little person we'll log in or we'll create our account boom we're brought to our page here all right we'll go to my dashboard page and then i'm signed in and boom we can see i'm here on my own boston rob dashboard my customized dashboard all right now what i want to be able to do is update my name my bio and my favorite movie so in my super ugly form field down here i can come down you can see boston rob's already pulling in because our form is linked back to member stack all right i can update my bio to i am the survivor goat and my favorite movie is uh the godfather and we'll hit submit profile updated we can come up here now and see that boss and rob i am the survivor goat the godfather it's all pulling in just like that so my profile is being updated and customized just like that if i come back to member stack you can see that my boss and rob item here is also updating perfectly oops with the godfather and i am the survivor goat and that's it and the last thing i want to show you guys is that we can come in here also and change his name so i can change it to amber i am actually the survivor goat and favorite movie of goodfellas we'll hit submit and you can see that our profile is being customized right here on our member dashboard and so that's it guys that is how you can create customizable member specific profile pages inside of webflow if you enjoyed this video go down and smash that like button for me i'd really appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this in the future consider subscribing that'd be great our community is growing faster and faster every day and it's super awesome to have you guys here along for the ride so thank you guys again for being here and i'll see you all on the next video peace